with that? Hmm. No, that's not right. Oh, hey guys, Alan Kaborkov here from BeTheClaw.com, and thank you for joining me for Skill Crane 109. First, I want to give a huge, huge thank you to everyone who responded to my request to promote my website. I want to give a few individual thanks. They go to Clawmaster1234. Thanks a lot for your video. Please check out his channel. Uh, next one is Marmatic28. I really appreciate your support. Thanks a lot. Please check out his channel. And last but not least, IcoB23. Thanks very much for your nice review. Uh, please check out his channel right here. Uh, Matt, 3756. Thank you, thank you, thank you for mentioning the site on your uh, Facebook fan page. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, it should really help me uh, get things uh, rolling with the site. So, if you don't know Matt yet, shame on you, and please check out his channel and um, the Facebook fan page as well. Uh, Matt's uh, YouTube channel is right here. Moving on, uh, we are pretty darn close to getting started with the first contest, and I will mention that in the next video most likely. Uh, this video is uh, pretty much similar to uh, the last one in which I filled up my uh, claw machine with um, treasure shop style prizes, except that um, I know that a lot of you play uh, for plush, so you know in some cases you don't really have uh, much of a choice in your area, uh, or some people just like to play for uh, plush prizes, so I decided to uh, fill up my machine with uh, plush prizes. They have to be kind of small because um, I have a jewelry claw. And um, so let's see how that works out. Um, I obviously can't win every single prize because you know by the end my machine starts to get a little tired. But uh, and certain prizes that are that get close to the walls uh, may not be accessible. Uh, they are in the dead zone. Um, but aside from that, I I think I did pretty well. This is a long video. I know some people uh, mentioned that they like them. I'm sure not everyone does. But if you like long videos, I think you will enjoy this one. Uh, thanks, and uh, let's get started. All right, so I uh, emptied out my claw machine, removed all the jewelry and other small items that I had in there. I uh, removed most of the gravel that I had, since uh, plush that I'm going to put in there is quite a bit bigger than the jewelry items, so they don't really need to sit as high, and, and the gravel doesn't really uh, serve much of a purpose with uh, a plush uh, prizes. So. I prepared a box of relatively small plush that I had from various sources, including some of the ones that, I, that I've that i won in the past. So I'm going to fill this thing up and we'll see how it goes. I think that should be more than plenty to get to get us started. So now I'm going to arrange all the stuff in there and have everything sitting upright, just like they typically do when, when the uh, plush cranes are freshly stocked. There is some licensed stuff in here and some definitely more generic prizes as well. All right, so as far as the sequence of the prizes, um, I'm going to go for uh, the bear that is right in front of the prize chute or the brown um, or light tan rather. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. It's it's a round round thing, some sort of a creature that I that I'm going to go for, uh, just because it's it's only surrounded from a couple sides because everything else is kind of wedged in, so not as easy to access. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that this claw machine is different from most other ones that you've seen, uh, since it doesn't have power applied to it when it grabs, so it, th there's barely any tension in the claw, so you. In order to stay closed, it has to grab the prize entirely from all sides under the prize in order to pick it up. If that happens, it can pick up a really, really heavy prizes, but it needs to have a complete grip from, from all sides in order to keep the prize in the claw. So let's try for the brown bear 
and that is in the fancy dress right in front of the prize chute and we'll go from there. I think I'm going to try for the round thing here. All right, first win, and that's probably one of the few prizes that will actually go into the prize chute and can be removed from the other side. All right, so now that we got this guy out of the way, the white Dalmatian may be uh, maybe accessible, so let's try that. And I say white Dalmatian as opposed to some other colored Dalmatian. I guess they're all white. I have never tried plush in my own machine, so this uh, is proving to be a bit more challenging than I expected. Now it should be much easier, and obviously the less plush in the machine, the easier it's going to be to win. Try again. All right. I think you'll notice that uh, it will be much easier to win certain things once they become a, a little bit more accessible. I'm going to go for the, um, okay, I'm not really sure what that is, uh, right next to the brown bear. I'm going to try to grab it by its non-existing booty. It's almost too small. try for that bear again. Not likely to have much luck with it just yet, but we'll see. Alright, uh, okay, now I'm going to try for that rabbit that's on the other side by the glass. You can see how, how weak the claw seems when it doesn't go all the way around the prize. 
but it really is a matter of just reaching underneath because it can really grab up have some heavy prizes as long as it's a good grab. Tweety is in the way, so I'm going to see if I can move him out a little bit. All right. That was actually... Hmm, or not. It was a little easier than I thought, but he slipped out. So at least we have better access to the rabbit, I think. I think we're going to have a problem with most prizes falling out in front of the prize chute, depending on how they're grabbed. But at least you'll have a, a general idea how this works. Let's try for the, maybe even a two and one, the lizard, the green lizard, and the blue um, butterfly or caterpillar or whatever it is that's underneath. As you can see in this example, the lizard was on top of the caterpillar and it still managed to pull it out uh, because it, there was a good grab around the caterpillar, so it held on to it pretty well. Let's try this again. Uh, let's try for the lizard again. consider him a win. Actually, that wasn't a lizard, that was a frog, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, um, that funny looking creature, creature that's next to the blue monkey, that uh, might be winnable right now. Possibly. Or not. If ever. Let's see if we can get the green mo blue monkey. stuck under something, so let's try for the green turtle. Had too big for this. All right. Yep, definitely a win here. Some more possibilities. Uh, let's try for the monkey again. The monkey got its eye poked out. This should definitely be easy as long as one of the claws doesn't land on the monkey. Alright, next 
we go for? Hmm. Well, let's try that funny looking creature, but not the one by the glass, but the one that's next to, to the yellow bird. to the yellow bird. Not the bright yellow, but the pale yellow bird. Although that might be kind of hard. It grabs under the arms that, like that. Well, I think it's pretty obvious what I'm going to go for next. As you can see, it's definitely getting a lot easier as more and more items are becoming better exposed. Let's go for the white there in a purple hat. He's actually... As you can see, it's getting quite a bit easier every time as more and more items become exposed. Let's go for the brown, the light brown bear, because he's pretty light but he might be a little wedged in there, so I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. Uh, not quite, but I think I may still be able to get him. almost a two-in-one. Wasn't really anticipating that one. Mm. Okay, so that's good. May be able to get that brown bear now, I think. Sometimes it just it doesn't spin the right way, you know? Let's try for the red bear. Backup plan. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to try for that.
Let's see what difference it makes when it grabs underneath. Maybe, 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 maybe. All right. Monkeys is more promising now. Have him by the face. Not many people can say that. Yay. Got the monkey. Okay, let's see. Let's try for the dog again. exposed there so we can go for that oops again Well, that might get a little complicated. Right, well, let's come back to that. I'm going to try for the deer. I think it would work pulling him out by the head, but now he's in a much better position. glass right now, so we may have to move him back out a little bit. Alright, that'll do it. Next on the agenda, let's try to get Snoopy. Maybe next time.
this should be easy, I think. Yep. Um, let's try and move the yellow bird out of the way. Hmm. That was a little easier than I expected. You know, it's funny, sometimes the things that you think that would be easy end up to be pretty challenging, and, and, and vice versa. I think this guy is a tad too small. Well, let's come back to him. Um, let's see if I can get the green bear now. That might help. Now with a butt up in the air, I think we may have a better chance. Expected. Ah, jeez. Um, not sure if I can get them now, but I'll try. Uh, I think I'll come back to that. Let's try for that black bear again. Not really sure if that's a bear or. Or we can get the pig first. Or we can get... Wow. Almost a two and one. I mean, I would actually almost count that. <laughs> well, let's get Snoopy this time. Snoop. <laughs> he just refuses. Snoopy doesn't want to go home. Alright. Alright, let's see. Let's try for that black bear again. He is a bit of an odd shape, so he might be. Mm. Alright, uh, let's see if I can get the red, red dog again. the glass, so one more try for the black one. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's
let's try to get the purple bee or no I'm not really sure it looks like an ant of some sort I don't know whatever that purple thing is he's just a bit too small get them eventually. That's good. Let's try for the purple dog. Oh, that was an easy one. Uh, let's try for that uh, white dog with the uh, with the black uh, ribbon. that would happen. Let's try again. Now we'll try to get them by the bottom half. Actually, I'm going to try this red dog first, since it's a little bit closer. come back to that. And as you can see at this point the strategy continues to go for things that have at least one or two sides, ex sides exposed uh, for easier access. Um, let's, well, then we'll try for the dog in the pink jacket. I think we can get them by the booty. Next time. Barely hanging in there. Okay, and there's a uh, tan bear in the, with the red ribbon. to go just a little past him so that it doesn't so that the white bear doesn't get in the way. Maybe like that. Eh. Oh, 
that's a koala bear and it's definitely not edible anymore. Let's go for the bite there and closer to the corner. next time. He's making things a little complicated. Let's go for Snoopy against the back wall. Slippers. All right. Moving on. Let's see if I can get that cat with the headband. Dead. Mm. Well, this should be challenging now because it's, it's flat on its back, not much to grab onto. Try for the green koala bear. I'm not really sure what that is. I guess it's a bear in the corner there with the wings. for the bear in a purple hat. Hmm. Again, that was easier than I expected. And let's try for that creature with big eyes, although I'm not sure how much luck I'm going to have with it because it's kind of flat and it's right against the wall. Anticipated better than the last time I tried it, but um, we'll 
Let's see, he's kind of small. Okay, that should be easier now. Okay, let's try the cat, black cat in the hat. Hmm. Maybe we can get him next time. Maybe, 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 maybe. That was close. Mm, let me try the pig right in front of the chute. Mm. Well, let me still grab it. <laughs> Let's try again. Yeah, he might be a lost cause. Let's try for that white cat again. Hmm. Was not expecting that at all. But I got it. Okay, let's go back to the white bear. Actually, let's do the red one first. If I can get the red bear while trying for the white one, eh, maybe not. Come on. Uh, well, that should make it easier. Not like that. Definitely not like that. Let's go for the head and arms. Unless I can get one of the claw fingers directly under his chin, I don't think it's going to happen. Come on. You can do it. Ah. Well, let's go for the booty. Bye, the booty. That's a win. That's it, guys. If you're still watching, thanks for making it this far. Uh, toward the end, my machine started to uh, get a little tired. It's pretty old, and um, it was having trouble uh, moving at some points. So um, I had to call it quits. And some of the prizes were uh, in, in pretty bad position, so I couldn't really get them out anymore. Uh, so I wasn't exactly sure how that one was going to go. Um, I figured I would either have trouble winning any of them or they would be all pretty easy but it ended up to be somewhere in the middle so I think that I think it turned out pretty well I know what you're thinking you're probably saying to yourself uh, dang this guy has some pretty hairy arms and yes I do and um, it actually helps me win stuff go figure anyway um, thanks again for your support thanks to everyone who um, is uh, has subscribed to my channels to everyone who uh, liked my page uh, Facebook page recently I really, really appreciate your support, and uh, hopefully we can have some fun together. So uh, stay tuned for the uh, Crane Bank giveaway. Uh, I will announce details about that very soon. Thanks again. Until next time.